from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. In this episode, we take our cash game to the city of Bridges, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where we were graciously hosted by the Rivers property, situated beautifully along the historic Ohio River. The staff there is amazing, and the poker is the best in the region. Our crew was also given a rare opportunity to visit the home of Darwin Moon, the 2009 WSOP runner-up. We'll show you the adventures that awaited us on his sprawling loggy ranch in rural Maryland. But first, let's kick off day one of our exclusive cash game and get to know the new cast of characters along the way. Blinds are 25 and 50 at this cash game. Poker Night in America is brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. Where do you live now, Steve? Same place as before, just outside of Baltimore. All right, I went to school at uh, University of Maryland College Park. Spent a little time. In Baltimore, mostly just drinking. Have you went to Maryland Live yet? I've been there. I haven't yeah. played poker yet there. Uh, I've been there a few times. times. It's always busy. It's always First action for Larry says, Ormson yeah. here at Rivers. He makes it 175 with Queen 10. You got one caller in Joe Cata, 2009 World yeah, Series of Poker Main Event Champion, champion yeah. joining us no here one. in yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah, like yeah. Flop is 1085. Cata sets up and Ormson Great hits top pair. Greg and well, you know, I should have thought of him Christian when you, said, you said Greg in Baltimore, but it, except for the fact that I thought he was like spending most of his time in Asia or something. Yeah, he was down there for a few weeks playing. Raise to 1150. Well, at least we know that Tara was going to get a tip this down. Yeah. <laughs> we get red chips, so we can finally tip whatever you hand. Yeah, just size spot. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Turn is another eight, so a full house now for Joe. How much did you start playing with? Ten. Ten. Almost a pot size bet from Joe Cata here on the turn. Fold. Larry will fold, so the first hand of the night is going to Joe Cata. Already? Mm. Well, you probably do recognize the name Joe Cata, Larry Orson, maybe not one of the names you would consider a household name, but a very strong tournament and cash game player. I'm like, and you can't say no to the free cheeseburger. You're already there. I don't know if I've ever said no to a free cheeseburger, actually. You know? Especially from McDonald's. I don't know what it is. It has a little bit of a hold on me. Pocket nine for Dave Eldridge. It's the McDonald's pickle. Now to Dan O'Brien. Mm. What about White Castle? Does that have a hold on you? Or? Yeah. White Castle gets me from time to time. White Castle's good. Yeah, I, I've probably had like twice in the last eight years, but they're not really around me. And this is Larry Ormson with King Five of Clubs. Wow, big hand for Darvin Moon, but he's going to elect to sit this one out with Ace Jack. Considering there was a raise, a re-raise, and a call, Dave representing a very big hand. He makes his four bet 1350, and now to Dan O'Brien, who has a kind of big hand. Have I seen that shirt on you before, Dan? I, it's, it looks familiar. I like it. This is brand spanking new. He wears it on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. He wears it. I clean up well. You ought to try it once in a while. I'm not really known for my good looks, whatever I'm wearing. So Dan will call. I think we should do a day on the town. Take you out. And let's see if Larry wants to tailor. continue. He I'm sure the, does. I'm the, I'm the charmer, not the looker. Good. You could be the driver then, huh? <laughs> no fear here is my favorite expression. Yeah, sure. I'm a good wingman, because I can Crazy lie players. about you with a straight face. <laughs> you go off to the men's room and I like, you know. $4,100 in the pot, and here's the flop. It's ace, queen, six. Ironically enough, a scary flop for all three players. I'll tell him, you go to the, the restroom and I'll tell her like he's loaded and he's easy. Oh God. Just go for it. <laughs> After two checks, action now on Dan. 
Dan O'Brien, a poker pro that resides in Las Vegas. Eventually get over there, don't worry. You guys got side action going over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had red. Is that triple? Getting the orange in the game now. <laughs> that was always so degenerate. What? Back when the the big game, back at the beginning of the poker boom, and they were playing 4,000, 8,000, and then they would do the props. Yeah. And literally could be, I mean, they'd be risking more on the props than, the in, than, than yeah. And Pocket so Jacks will take it down with a strong bet on the flop. Pocket Jacks, one of those hands that is probably one of the toughest there is to play in all of poker. More poker coming up after the break. Plus, a little later on, we send a film crew out to try to survive a country adventure with Darwin Moon. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America. We return to the felt. Darvin, would, would it be dangerous to take a first timer uh, big game hunting in Wyoming? No. No, no, it wouldn't be dangerous. Uh, Darvin yeah. on your side? Yeah. Darvin, can we go sometime maybe? Yeah. I've never been hunting. If you, if you, uh, if you, you go, I have you shot a gun? Uh, yeah, I've shot Halloween pistols costume and machine guns. On you and tells you to run off into the woods, though. Never a shotgun? Be a um, I don't Rifle. think so. I'm yeah. going to buy a shotgun soon, though. He's like, I've oh, played a lot of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, shot a lot of machine guns we'll and pistols there. Really <laughs> well, I'll wait for my wrist to heal up. You know, you go like in the summer, or, like when it's kind of warm, right? No, no, you go in oh, no. uh, September when the snow's like three feet deep. <laughs> How long are you outside for? You put the white three, suit on. Three or four days, isn't it? Sick. <laughs> three or four days, isn't it, Darby? No, ten. Pack a lunch. Ten no, days? No, we pack a tent on a horse and take yeah. fold and continue to talk yeah. the better points of outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. I could have asked some details. Yeah, no yeah. You wanted to be a hunter-gatherer, and now you're flinching at ten days? Well, I would be more adapted to guns. it if I grew up with it. Now I'm just a <laughs> city boy. So wait, do we, uh, do we bring our own water at least? Oh, if you so, want to, or you can supply. melt the snow, the boil floor. the snow on it. And we're not going to have any food. We just eat what we oh, want. Yeah. No, no, no. We bring food in. But I want to eat. Well, we need, yeah, we need what well, we hunt, too. Okay, all right. We'll okay. be eating wild well, You, you want to get used to it. You, Down you there in the steakhouse, they serve raw meat as appetizer. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to eat. Yeah, you, you can sit and watch me eat if you don't get anything today, you know, if you don't eat what we bring. I'll bring a flint. I'll bring a flint. I, uh, you know, have you seen the show with uh, Bear yeah, Grylls, Man vs. Wild? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so a couple of my college buddies and I want to do something called Dan vs. Wild, where I go out with a few of my friends with nothing, just like one day's worth of water and a flint and a knife, just to see what I could do out there, how so long we could last. So you eat for a day, then? I honestly, I would probably not eat for four or five days and have to come back hungry. You won't make it that far, that long. Yeah. Yeah, you won't. I just, I really want to see, because I've never killed anything. I, I won't even kill insects. Uh, if you're not going to eat it, I see no reason to kill it. But if I'm going to, you know, eat something, then I have no problem killing it. I just don't know if I can get myself to do it. You know, like a little squirrel, like snap its neck. I don't even know how I'd go about that. <laughs> I like catching you just twist it. You just twist yeah. it. Yeah. How are you going to snap yeah. a neck of a squirrel? <laughs> you're right. I'm He's like, come here, squirrel. You think you can catch the squirrel? <laughs> He's going to catch the squirrel. <laughs> uh, you know, Bear Grylls did it with a, he caught a rabbit with a shoestring, but then it turns out it was all bull. It was staged, and he didn't actually do it. So if Fair Girls can't do it, then yeah, I probably can't do it either. Well, he probably could do it, but they weren't going to, like, take the time. Yeah, he fastened a pretty good-looking noose. I got to start watching again if I'm actually going to go out there with Darwin. Yeah, you can. There you go. Wow, this would, be, this would honestly be, like, an incredible experience. You ever see Into the Wild or whatever? It's like... Uh... They go to, he, this guy goes to South Africa, he's like a lion tamer, basically, okay. but he goes in the wild. And, tries to tame wild lions? Yeah, he tries to tame wild lions. It's, it's, you mean he tried to feed wild lions? Larry will fold. <laughs> the show is wild because he's, he's Larry to active at the like, table, but the chips are actively going away from him so far. Let's get him out. Oh, wilderness, seven days, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how tough he is then. I would love to get out there. And I, and I, I got to tell you, I have no confidence in myself whatsoever. I would be the I back at it with Ace Queen of Diamonds. Joe, of course, the 2009 WSOP winner, just shy of his 22nd birthday when he won that. I have a real hard time surviving for, for more than a week. It won't be that bad. No, I, with an experienced professional like yourself, 
I think I can handle it. Do you have Fox News out there? See, if there was enough money on the line, I would bet you the last longer, Dan. Because I wouldn't, if there was enough money on the line, I would bet a last longer with you. Yeah. But that's because you would be trying to, like, find food and stuff. And I would just huddle up someplace and conserve energy yeah, and just, stay warm. You got a little bit more reserves than I do. Well, Larry I continues to push the action. A re-raise with sixes. So I was like, you'd be trying to, I mean, if you succeeded, though, have you, like, figured out how to, like, hunt and gather successfully? Now you're a lock. <laughs> but I'm just betting that you would, like, have to quit or, or pass out before you got to that point. Yeah, as long as you, especially in the winter, as long as you were warm up. and you could melt snow oh, easily. Well, if we could go someplace really cold and we don't get appropriate clothing, you're, you're doomed. I am. I'm the last guy to get cold. When everyone in the Amazon room is complaining at 2 in the morning how cold it is you're and they're warm. buying hoodies from the gift shop. I'm still wearing my shorts and t-shirt and I'm fine. Things at this table are starting out very interestingly, mainly about Dan O'Brien and his outdoor skills or lack thereof. You're gonna have to find that like dead bear to cut its skin off right away. Otherwise <laughs> yeah, you're doing Bear girls lived in a camel. I could do well, that. Why do you think that is, Greg? Turn is a nine. Let's see if Larry wants exactly to continue to bet. Why don't I get cold? Yeah. I've been that way since I was a little kid when I was skinny. <laughs> It's just natural to my body, but I have the insulation now to back it up. So I've, I've improved. He will check, so now back to Joe. He also picks up the flush draw to go with his top pair. If we got a, uh, if we hit an Ice Age, we'll both check, you'll be a winner. Ice Age is guaranteed to come. Deuce on the river. Or almost virtually guaranteed to come again. They're predicting it in 10 to 20,000 years. I don't think I'll be here for it. I hope I am. I hope I am too. 1675. I'm not betting on it. Well, I might as well. <laughs> Let's see what you got there, Larry. Looking like sixes. Ever just want to start your day over? I'm guessing that's what Larry Armson would like to do right about now. Let's hand Joe. Bad news is 50 bucks goes to Frank. More poker night in America after the break. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to the Rivers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on Poker Night in America. A couple of World Series of Poker Main Event champions seated at the table with us today. Joe Cata and Greg Raymer, And a couple of runner-ups, Steve Daneman and Darvin Muth, seated around the Poker Night in America table tonight. The aforementioned Mr. Moon and Mr. Raymer sitting next to each other. Greg's got deuces. You know Patrick? I play with him the other day. And pocket aces for the other World Series of Poker champ, Joe Cata. Uh, we're playing. You can't change your shirt during set time. changes. <laughs> poker Night in America brought to you by 888 What's Poker, where the world plays online. Let's toss in the fireplace, maybe. I think you should. I got a three bet hat. No, I mean, but I, I never three bet. I think so you should just change it up a little bit. And Joe's got to be loving his luck here. Raymer trying to make a play with his deuces, re-raises to just over $1,000. Well, I'll pay for this one. Well, I ain't paid for that one first. I think uh, this dude's buying or something, they said. <laughs> I could use a refill. Cat is going to bet enough to put Raymer all in. How much is that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really think you have. Oh. Whatever, first all in. One champ will hold to the other. Thank you. Tip Michael. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's every one. He's tipped every one. He's like, he always has run bad. Once he knows exactly, oh, yep, you've only got third pair. Very unlucky guy. I call the all in with your second pair. And, uh, you know, and then you hit your, your five out around the river on me or something like that. Another pocket pair for Raymer. This time it's Jax. Just a min raise to 100. Steve Daneman is going to join the action with pocket sixes. I don't know how safe I feel with Daneman wearing a Ravens jersey right next to the Steelers stadium. Larry's deuces are in play. 
Here comes Darwin Moon with King Jack. He calls. Getting Darwin in here, too. All right. I'm going to be the first all in. And now the guy with the best starting hand of all five is going to just move all in. Raymer and his jacks are in for 42.50. How much do you have, Greg? 42.50 total. Folds to Larry. Deuces are in the muck. Real pain for everyone except Darvin. What do you got? Here. That's a big pair. What do you got? Uh, Queens? Those are all reasonable guesses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Greg Raymer not yeah. giving up an inch of information. You're the straddle, man. Oh. You're the straddler this time. You won the pot. I only button straddle. No, we were doing oh, a No, we straddle. agreed. You got it. Uh, I didn't know we agreed. I, I did not, I'd never heard that we had all agreed to straddle. I really didn't know. I honestly didn't, I thought you guys were just kidding like because I won the pot. No, no, we would. I'll straddle for you. We all want to straddle around? We all good for a straddle? Sure. Sure. Everybody? Yeah. Right. Good talk. As long as it, a round of straddles, is that okay with you? I don't care. I don't care. Yep, all right. All right, straddle around. I apologize. I didn't, I didn't even hear the conversation. The straddle in this game is a $100 bet that always be put out right ahead of the blind. So whoever's under the gun is automatically in for $100, except Greg Raymer says, I never heard that discussion. I just made up for a straddle. That's off. Carry it, buddy. I, I honestly had no idea that we that there was a discussion of we all agreed to straddle. I was probably gabbing about something else at the time and not listening. No, not you. Nah, I don't think so. Nah, you weren't talking about nothing. You know what? I'm going to get in two of these. I don't think he can re-raise down there now, so I know I'm in this one. <laughs> if I'd have thought that last hand, when there you just flatted the straddle. On, on the and the flop is deuce aid, queen all diamonds. Dealer, can we see a different flop? Can I get my straddle back? <laughs> I'll slow play this. Five players, and not one of them has a diamond. No flush draws as everyone's checking around. Darvin Moon ahead with a pair of queens. And the turn now gives him two pair. I want my straddle back, Darvin. What? I want Greg's straddle back. Larry Ormson's got a pair of eights. And so he's re-raising back to Darwin. Raise it up. Make it 800 to go. 800. 800. Cool. And now a call from Darwin. Yeah. I wish I could commentate this game. <laughs> I, wish I, I want to do commentating. I feel like. Can we really do. do you like it? Yeah, I do. I, I can get you on the river. Is another eight, and Larry finally gets some luck making trip eights on the river. Like I've done commentary for the HPT live feed before. I do. I mean, so I'll sit in the back room, and you know, you don't sit to see the whole cards. Larry bets on the river, and Darvin quickly pays him off. Wow. Unlucky, Darvin. Well played, Larry. That was a champagne raise in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the uh, heroin raises. hit. <laughs> Champagne raises and caviar no. rivers. We, this is the new dealer. Do I have to give him the 50? Oh, yeah. When we come back, we head to the woods of Maryland with Darvin Moon on Poker Night in America. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Yeah, we're going right out. We'll run over all them little trees right there. The logging business I got into in 1985, Dad and my brother bought a small sawmill. Our company just couldn't get enough logs in to keep our mill running, so I told him that I would go in the woods and start cutting timber and try to help supply the mill. I'm out here every day 
that I'm not away playing poker or out doing something else six days a week. My favorite part about being out here in the woods, you're out here, you against the tree, you're trying to better the forest, you're trying to better the ground for the next generation to still have a good healthy forest to harvest and do work for the future. The logging industry is probably in the top five is the most dangerous industry you can be in. I had a tree kick back once and broke my knee and tore all the ligaments out of my knee. 2006, a big limb came out of a tree and hit me in the arm and crushed my arm. I think I was off six or so, maybe eight weeks. So I like playing these little poker tournaments around and I would play live tournaments five nights a week. Out of 15 tournaments in a row, I either took first or second, and I, I think I had 11 first and four seconds. But you know, when you're hungry enough, you're gonna bear down and and do what you have to do. I mean, you learn to survive. It's everybody's dream to go to Las Vegas and play in the World Series of Poker. If I would've never had that limb crush my arm, I mean, I wouldn't have played that much poker right in a row and got that really serious about poker, and that's just the way life goes. Man, what an adventure with the moons. You know, I gotta say it, the moons are amazing hosts, and we have to send a big thank you to them for showing our crew a very good time. Next time, we'll remember to bring boots. For more from Poker Night in America, log on to PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. Poker Night in America is brought to you by 888-POKER, where the world plays online. That tree's ready for the landing. And then we cut another one. From the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. In this episode, we take our cash game to the city of Bridges, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where we were graciously hosted by the Rivers property, situated beautifully along the historic Ohio River. The staff there is amazing, and the poker is the best in the region. Our crew was also given a rare opportunity to visit the home of Darwin Moon, the 2009 WSOP runner-up. We'll show you the adventures that awaited us on his sprawling logging ranch in rural Maryland. But first, let's kick off day one of our exclusive cash game and get to know the new cast of characters along the way. Blinds are 25 and 50 at this cash game. Poker Night in America is brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. Where do you live now, Steve? Same place as before, just outside of Baltimore. All right, I went to school at uh, University of Maryland College Park. Spent a little time in Baltimore, mostly just drinking. Have you went to Maryland Live yet? I've been there. I haven't yeah. played poker yet there. Uh, I've been there a few times. times. It's always busy. It's always first action for Larry says, Ormson yeah. here at Rivers. He makes it 175 with Queen 10. You got one caller in Joe Cata, 2009 World yeah, Series of Poker Main Event Champion, champion joining us no here one. in yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Flop is 1085. Cata sets up and Ormson hits top yeah, pair. Yeah. Greg and well, you know, I should have thought of him Christian when you, you said Greg in Baltimore, but it, except for the fact that I thought he was like spending most of his time in Asia or something. Yeah, he was down there for a few weeks, boy. Raised to 1150. Well, at least we know that Tara's gonna get a tip this down. Yeah. <laughs> we get red chips, so we can finally tip got every hand. Got a decent sized pot. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Turn is another eight, so a full house now for Joe. How much did you start playing with? Ten. Ten. A 
Almost a pot size bet from Joe Cata here on the turn. Fold. And Larry will fold. So the first hand of the night is going to Joe Cata. Already? Mm. Well, you probably do recognize the name Joe Cata, Larry Orson, maybe not one of the names you would consider a household name, but a very strong tournament and cash game player. I'm like, and you can't say no to the free cheeseburger. You're already there. I don't know if I've ever said no to a free cheeseburger, actually. You know? Especially from McDonald's. You know I don't know what it is. It has a little bit of a hold on me. Pocket nine for Dave Eldridge. It's the McDonald's pickle. Now to Dan O'Brien. But what about White Castle? Does that have a hold on you? Or? Yeah. White Castle gets me from time to time. White Castle's good. Yeah, I, I've probably had like twice in the last eight years, but. They're not really around me. And this is Larry Ormson with King Five of Clubs. Wow, big hand for Darvin Moon, but he's going to elect to sit this one out with Ace Jack, considering there's a raise, a re-raise, and a call. Dave representing a very big hand. He makes his four bet 1350, and now to Dan O'Brien, who has a kind of big hand. Have I seen that shirt on you before, Dan? I, it's, it looks familiar. I like it. This is. Brand spanking new. He wears it on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. He wears it. I clean up well. You ought to try it once in a while. I'm not really known for my good looks, whatever I'm wearing. So Dan will call. I think we should do a day on the town. Take you out. And let's see if Larry wants to tailor. continue. He I'm sure the, does. I'm the, I'm the charmer, not the looker. You could be the driver then, huh? <laughs> no fear here is my favorite expression. Okay, I'm a good wingman, because I can Crazy lie players? about you with a straight face. <laughs> You go off to the men's room and I like, you know. $4,100 in the pot and here's the flop. It's ace, queen, six. Ironically enough, a scary flop for all three players. I'll tell him, you go to the, the restroom and I'll tell her like he's loaded and he's easy. Oh God. Just go for it. <laughs> After two checks, action now on Dan. Dan O'Brien, a poker pro that resides in Las Vegas. You guys got side action going over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had red. Wow. 28. Is that triple? Getting the orange in the game now. <laughs> that was always so degenerate. What? Back when the, the big game, back at the beginning of the poker boom, and they were playing 4,000, 8,000, and then they would do the props. Yeah. And literally could be, I mean, they'd be risking more on the props than the game in, then, then, yeah. And Pocket Jacks will take it down with a strong bet on the flop. Pocket Jacks, one of those hands that is probably one of the toughest there is to play in all of poker. More poker coming up after the break. Plus, a little later on, we send a film crew out to try to survive a country adventure with Darvin Moon. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America. We return to the felt. Darvin, would, would it be dangerous to take a first timer uh, big game hunting in Wyoming? No. No, no, it wouldn't be dangerous. Oh, Darvin on your side. Yeah. Darvin, can we go sometime maybe? Yeah. I've never been hunting. Have you, have you, uh, you, 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 you like shot a gun? Uh, yeah, I've shot Halloween pistols, machine guns. Tell you to run off into the woods, never a shotgun. A um, I don't Rifle. think so. I'm going to buy a shotgun soon, though. He's like, I've played a lot of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Just had a lot of machine guns.